In this video I'll show how to create a tree to use in uh, Unity 3D. Uh, I will use this uh, software, this free software, the tree, and then export the mesh to 3D Max to editing and then export uh, uh, in the hand to Unity 3D. Uh, to download this software you have to go to this uh, site. I'll copy paste. Okay, in this title from Freckle, we have projects and then tree. You can download the software from this link and you have here plugin to 3D Max. We don't want to use this plugin, so uh, I don't know if it, if it works. Uh, okay, this is the interface from tree and you can use uh, you can re read here the license you can use uh, it's free the software and uh, you can use you can't use it uh, if you sell models packs texture packs or 3d mode generators or texture generators uh, okay i have already installed this software okay it's running uh, by default opens a new tree you have here uh, the tabs to configure the the, the tree. Uh, you have the number of polygons here, and for the trunk, okay, disable. You have here the configurations. Uh, you have uh, in the installation directory from the software. You have many textures, okay, and here you can 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 choose the texture you want to use from here textures. And here you have the oh, exchange. See here, and then select another one. Okay, wood. And okay, this is from the trunk, the branches. Okay, we have. Okay, I'll disable, and you can uh, put uh, some textures in the in the uh, in the uh, in the branches also. This is the texture and the leaves. If I disable, okay. and also you can uh, can choose the texture from the leaf you want to use. It. Okay, I'll use this one, and you can also change some parameters okay you have here a uh, uh, color palette uh, and you have also uh, in the interface you have here animation but both you can't export okay the palette is a, a really nice feature okay. to give some random uh, color into the tree okay uh, after configuration, the the tree I'll uh, export in the format OBJ to this directory tree and tree OBJ. Uh, in the directory, we have the file I have exported and also the materials. This file is a text uh, fi uh, text uh, file. If you open with a, a program like Notepad, you have the both materials from the you have the material from the trunk. Okay, Notepad, and from the lid. Okay, you have uh, this texture and this texture. Okay, uh, and to use the this file I'll open in 3D Max. Okay. File import and go choose the OBJ file. Three. Okay. This is the number of polygons. I'll import. But because the OBJ doesn't uh, use the texture, uh, 3D Max says it's missing a map. Okay. So we have to I'll do a reset in 3D Max. No, and we have to do one thing with the, with this reference. 
root 3 and leave 7. I'll go to the directory of the program where are the textures. I'll leave 7 and root 3. Okay, and copy and paste it to the object uh, directory. And now, and now uh, again in 3D Max, if you say, uh, if you import, okay, import, and it's fine. Right now you have the mesh textures. I'll take this out, shaded. Okay, to to change the material. Uh, shortcut M to the material editor and then select the material from the tree and you see here you have a multi sub object with two uh, two materials yes from the trunk and from the leaf the trunk we don't want to change it because it's okay it's fine but for the leaves Okay, select the uh, material and then here have the, the channel diffuse the material, the map and image map, image alpha, it's ok and disable pre-multiplied alpha and then you connect the map to the opacity channel okay, and activate the preview with, in the material okay. right now uh, because this texture have a uh, alpha channel we are passing the information to the opacity channel. Okay, I'll close the material editor and now you see the tree it's uh, uh, with the alpha channel. Okay. Also I'll change from editable match to editable poly. Okay. And now we can work uh, in the um, uh, work in the mesh to change some parameters. Okay. And seven shortcut have here, it's the same number of polygons that you have here in the, the software tree. Okay. I'll export this one uh, to 3D Max. So I've created a new project in 3D Max. I'll create a new folder, uh, mesh. Show an explorer and copy the. Okay. And now in 3D Max. File export three format auto Autodesk FPX uh, disable the animation because we don't have animation in the tree and embedded media because you want to uh, uh, to take out also the textures in the FPX file. Okay, right now. Have exported to the uh, to the pro Unity project. Okay, have here. I import, and right now it's. Okay, I'll change in the uh, plugin options to the scale factor to one, and then apply. Okay, and you see here. the camera the tree is it with alpha alpha it's okay. okay I'll change I'll see okay change the materials in the with the tree selected you can see here you have a transparent diffuse uh, material uh, shadow uh, with, uh, uh, with only a color you can change the color because uh, here you have you have this one the um, uh, palette uh, color palette with some variation, but here in Unity you, you will only have this shadow. This shadow only have one color. Okay. The map used in the shadow and uh, the wood, the trunk material, it's only a diffuse shadow. Okay. Also, uh, so I'll zoom in. And you can see one thing here, like this. Uh, if you leave, if you look at this leaf, and I'll rotate. Okay, it's not uh, double-sided right now. It's you can see only from one side. So we'll change that. Okay, to change the the, the shader, you have to download this 
zip file from Unity. Okay, I have here, uh, and this file contains all the shaders from Unity that you have in this list. Just one second to open. Okay, these shaders we have here, and uh, in this file, I'll open the file and uh, in, with uh, default resources, select the alpha diffuse shader, and also I'm going to use it. Uh, this one uh, from tree, tree creator, the tree, and tree creator leaves. Okay, close the zip file. Uh, and from this one, use this one. Uh, I'll change. Uh, I will edit with the notepad. And here in the shader, I'll put the name. Double-sided. If uh, this this uh, double-sided if. Uh, and then diffuse it's the if you select the tree it's this uh, link okay I'll we'll, we'll show here in the double sided underscore if and then the and then the diffuse uh, and also after this level of detail I'll put off so uh, it enables to see double sided okay I have here the shadow I have change it and then in unity I'll create uh, a new directory just to organize the project shaders and put here the shader. Right now Unity is updating. Okay, I have here shaders and the shader I have changed it. I'll select the tree and right now if I go to double sided if diffuse. Okay. And right now if I uh, like this this leaf okay, uh, okay if I rotate it you can see it's double sided. It's very difficult to see, but uh, uh, just one. Okay. Yeah. Like this one here. See this side, it's okay, and then I rotate, and then this side, it's okay because this uh, the cool off. Uh, but uh, this shadow is not uh, the best shadow to use for trees, so I'll change to Nature to Creator Leaves, okay? Because you have uh, more parameters, you can uh, select uh, different textures, normal maps, or uh, you can change some par some uh, um, uh, parameters, okay? And uh, for the the trunk, also change to Nature bark okay. right now it doesn't make any difference but you have more options if you want to use in the future and uh, this, this channel also I have the problem right now it doesn't use double sided so uh, I'll change the, the cider I have unzipped before these three creator leaf shaders and also Add this one, this information. Double sided if, and also this cool off. After level of detail, cool off. Save it. Uh, just one thing, I'll uh, open the shadow again. Uh, doesn't use this one, is. And, uh, ah, okay, this, this line. I have unzipped also the tree, uh, this file, because there are some reference here. So uh, this this shader won't work if you don't have this file uh, also. So I'll close and I'll copy this one and this one. 
and put in a project. Okay, Unity is updating. Okay, you have here, and right now, if I select the tr the leaves and double sided, and I have three creator leaves. Okay, and right now, it's I'll create uh, just one directional light. Okay, and uh, right now, if you select something, this leaf. Okay, I'll rotate. You can see it's double sided. Okay, this. Okay. Up and down, it's okay. So you have uh, the leaves uh, all visible from all sides, and it's all 